<laughs> go, Nick, go. All right, um, put your hands, all of that was on video, just so you know. Um, put your hands together and welcome Nick. Uh, good afternoon, Sharps. My name is Nick Hammond, and the topic I chose to do my project on that's never really been brought up before is the school start time. Um, I think we should change the school start time so that we start an hour later and end an hour later. So it would be like we start at 8.35 and end at 3.55. I think this will help teens like pay attention more in class and help uh, them feel more rested and it will help them form, perform better in both academics and athletics. Uh, one of my sources uh, was a website called National Sleep Foundation and it basically talked about how kids need about eight to ten hours of sleep a night. And they're not getting, the problem is they're not getting this because they're either <coughs> um, uh, in a job and they're working late or they're um, up late doing homework or they're in some type of after school activity. I also found in research that about 60% of children um, complain that school starts too early and about 15% said they uh, fell asleep during school. Uh, I believe a later schedule uh, for school would uh, help teens with their sleep and wake patterns and it would also be more beneficial for families and uh, parents' work schedule. I believe it will also help with teens that are struggling with depression and it um, will lower the risk of teens falling asleep while driving. Um, in conclusion, I believe changing the school start time will be a great solution for solving all of these problems. And I hope you take my <coughs> topic into consideration. Thank you. As somebody covers the school board, this yeah. is been brought to the school board's attention that yeah. they haven't done anything about it. Yeah. Mainly because it's a transportation problem. Yeah. They don't have, you know, if they, they move years back, they'd have to move up, let's say, the elementary schools or something yeah. like that. So I guess the question is, when you look at a solution, where have you explored that? Because the people who would make the decision are the seven people on your elected school board. Uh, I haven't really thought about it yet, but I might later in the future. Because there was one group of students <coughs> yeah. a couple of years ago who brought, who got on the agenda of the school board and yeah. made their presentation on board to taking action, mm -hmm. but, you know, if enough people continue to pressure, you never know. I mean, it's, it's logistically a difficult thing to do, but there's a lot, and, I, and you brought up some, but there was a lot of scientific data to show that high school students would be better performing and better off generally if they had that later start time. So it's, it's a good issue that you brought up. We want to get involved with just a little more. You kind of touched the surface of it, but there's a lot more out there yeah. uh, to back up the argument you're trying to make. So. Um, as a school teacher, I work in a school system that has a lot of um, the elementary school starts before the middle school and high school, which yeah. it's normally flip-flopped in most, I'm pretty sure your school district is the opposite. Okay. Um, and I think ours was flipped because of what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, but I can tell you, from a teacher's point of view, it really hasn't changed a whole lot except for transportation woes for athletic events, yeah. because most schools, high schools start early. Okay. And, and I am a firm believer, like I coach sports, I love sports, but they do dictate a lot of how schools are run. Yeah. And with athletic events needing to start by a certain time, that's why high schoolers get the early dismissal <coughs> so they can get to those events and get home at a decent time. Mm -hmm. So some of the consequences you just have to consider, and if you're gonna go take this to the school board, you have to consider, okay, that means sports